This week's video is sponsored by Omaze. What is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching Kicking It! And we are back on the Isle of Skye exploring in our stunning big green bass called Custard. After spending one week exploring the Isle of Skye, also known as the Jewel of the Highlands, we thought it deserved another. After all, it is Scotland's largest and perhaps most magnificent island of the Inner Hebrides. Boasting of around 100,000 sheep, but only 10,000 human residents. The island, along with its climate, can only be described as flipping mental, mate. So strap yourselves in and come on a weird but wonderful adventure with us. Can I see a boarding pass, please? Oh, bonsoir, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to Custod Airlines. And the board is uh, Mercedes Vario. It won't fall. The uh, emergency exits are this way and uh, this way. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Karen. I'll be your flight crew for today. If you want to sit down and take your seats and fasten your seatbelts, we'll soon be arriving at the stunning destination of the Isle of Skye. So you guys for today, ladies and gentlemen, they are a bit questionable because our regular staff are off on furlough. Flight time is around four hours today, so any diesel contributions would be greatly appreciated. We're going to pass a hat around the cabin. You will be sampling some local delicacies. Chocolate peanuts, Free mate. chocolate peanuts? Oh, don't do it, Craig. Expect to see some dramatic landscapes, moody mountains, off-road skiing, <laughs> and you may also encounter some angry locals. You better run, Craig. <laughs> Winds are about 450 miles an hour today, so there's probably going to be a bit of turbulence like. So on behalf of Custer's Airlines and the crew on board today, we just want to say thanks for travelling with us. Have a wicked time on the Isle of Skye, and when you leave, please take your shots with you. Nice one. The first stop on this tour is a place called Algol. Morning, guys. So, uh, you know when you just wake up and you feel like you need to do something to shake the cobwebs off? <laughs> Who am I kidding, Craig? I regret this decision already. <laughs> so we're in a place called Algol. This is what we're looking at. It looks, oh, incredible. We came down here fully clothed, um, not scaring the locals, and there is a primary school over there, so. <laughs> It just is immaculate. The water is crystal clear. The sand is like white. It is amazing. It looks so inviting. We were like, should we go and swim? So um, that's what we're gonna do. Three, two, one. Oh. 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 It is cold. Can confirm. The Scottish Sea is cold in November. Before we carry on, we'd like to take a minute to thank this week's sponsor, Omaze. Lads, have we got an incredible opportunity for you. So Omaze are giving you the chance to win a Tesla powered 1966 VW and, and, $20,000. Oh! <laughs> Look at this thing. It's a retro 60s VW, but with some incredible modern technology. It's got Tesla batteries, mate. Shut up, Craig. I do not believe you. Custom built by Zelectric, this classic beauty with its velvet green and white exterior is now fully electric. Tell me it's true. Tell me you are not telling a porky pie. Not only will you be entering for a chance to win this gorgeous vehicle and 20 Gs, but every donation supports the charity Reverb. Their work makes a real positive impact on the environment, including the elimination of over 3 million single-use plastic bottles from concerts. To win this belter of a vehicle, $20,000 and support a great cause, go to amaze.com forward slash king in it and then what? Donate $10 and you will be entered. Good luck. Best of luck. 
We put some dry pants on and decided this place was far too pretty not to explore. Plus we'd been told there was a chance of seeing the famous Highland Coos. We went on a bit of a drive to find the rascals. And before we knew it, we had arrived on Mars. those who are wondering, we called this little guy Greg's, but unfortunately he was the only Highland cow we saw that day. Fuming. Driving back from Algol, the scenes were spectacular. We found a spot right on the lock, and that's where we slept. Fight me. We stopped off for a cup of tea, and as we looked out the window, this yellow custody flashback pulled up next to us. The owner Jamie told us that it was an ex-German Red Cross ambulance, and it was the smaller version of her big sister Custard. Jamie was a lovely guy, just like all of the other van lifers that we've met here in Scotland. It really is such a lovely community to be a part of. Since being on the Isle of Skye, an array of people have told us that we must go to Plockton, the most picturesque fishing village. Morning, Clive. Mm. Did you have you have you had them tailored those trousers? These tra well, you know we were we were driving past the co-op and uh, there's a little sewing bee in the corner. These are a little bit too long. They look like granddad trousers. I was like. Oh love, I want them to look like they're too short for me. And she just looked at me like, righto. <laughs> so we're not actually in Sky anymore. We're in a place called Plockton, which our friend Doug told us about. And it's stunning, look at this. It's like That's a little amazing. fishing village. We haven't dusted these bad boys off for a long time. I don't know if you remember, but Harry and Marv, the wet, wet bandits, bandits yeah. are our scooters. So we've dusted them off. Oh dear, get them for you now, get them for you now. <laughs> so this is an ultra quiet fishing village and Amy's like, what's up little lads? I'm like, shut up. Don't rain on my parade, Craig. Just because there's nobody here doesn't mean that I have to be quiet, okay? It does echo a bit because it's kind of like yeah, a valley. It is. But the only reason we're here, Plockton, is because Doug said we might see the Heelan Koo, also known as the Highland Cow. So I've got my, I've got everything crossed. So all you've been saying every day this week. Where's the cows, Craig? Look at the scenery, love. Take it. Don't every, be so ungrateful. Every, no, no, no. Every time I see them, I'm in the bus, and I really want to see one outside of the bus, and you know, maybe touch it. And I know that sounds weird, but it won't be. <laughs> you ready to explore Plockton? Me too. Let's go. <laughs> Well, this for a spot then. Is this another shall we cry spot? <laughs> I think it is. It's just it's so peaceful here. You don't understand. I don't think our, our video doesn't really do it justice either. It's it's just beautiful. There's no other word I can think. You can't really. It's hard to tell, but it's so crystal clear. If the sun comes out, you can see the bottom of the lock. I can imagine this on a summer's day, just being like, come out here for a swim. Yeah. We should have done it anyway. Um, it's just crazy though how every little corner of Scotland we've been to, we, we go to like a certain place and we're like, wow. Yeah. It just, it does make you just like want to cry a little bit because it's so beautiful. And like the houses around here as well. I'm like, just have that, I'll just have that one. <laughs> That's it. It's looking, it would just be incredible to live here. Yeah.
After a few days hiding from the rain in the van, it was time to do some cleaning and emptying, so we stopped off at Camping Sky. Man's 100% king in it today. Morning, fella. All right, Dad. Who? Darren. Darren what? Darren Denham. Oh. <laughs> Darren, Darren, Denham. Get your denim out for the lad, because it's Tuesday. No, it's not. It's Friday. <laughs> Woo! It's cold today. So one minute it's bright and sunny, and then the next it's like torrential rain. So I just ran inside. But I've seen a charity shop. So if you know me, guys, you know that charity shops are everything. Uh, whether it be the Netherlands or Mongolia, I will find a charity shop or a car boot sale. I think it was a car boot sale that I found in Mongolia. I've still got the shorts. So we're gonna stop there first, mainly because I want some Christmas decorations. Like I know Craig's gonna be like, no, no crap in the van, but maybe just like a small, tree you know but the plan on the list for today is a waterfall which we may or may not get into because it looks wonderful and a lighthouse which is supposed to be like trace romantic for sunset but um the weather's like this then i don't think it's gonna be that romantic so if you're gonna come to sky and you want a wild camp or you want somewhere really nice to stay camp in sky is ace so Rory, the guy who works here, he said, who's like your BFF now, you're legend. good friends, isn't you? Legend. I said to him, have you got any like chemical toilet cleaner? He was like, wait there. Gave me this massive jug of stuff. He's like, oh, someone just left that. You can have it. Have it. He's such a legend. But yeah, if you want to just come here for like water fill up to empty your toilet and to like empty your grey water, it's like five quid. Fiver. How good is that? Bargain. It's in a wicked spot as well. It's like in the foot of a mountain, lush palm trees, not palm trees, <laughs> pine trees around it. It's a good spot. <laughs> you look like an old woman whacking her mat. I'll do all the jobs, love, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just in my ear. So I didn't really find anything in the charity shop. All of the Christmas decorations were like massive. They were like huge lights for your like bedroom windows and stuff. But I did find this. Well, look at you. Is that in love? Just, just call you Tom Cruise. <laughs> winter ready now, aren't I? Hasht yeah. Hashtag winter ready. And it's, it's um, uh, fur lined as well, which is lovely. Proper cosy. I'm pretty sure this used to be like an old lady's hat. I mean, it's not anymore. But it's not going to blow off, is it? <laughs> no, it's glass. Three, three quid. Three quid well spent, you're welcome. This one drive. Made me go in on my own as well, didn't he? <laughs> The original plan was to go to Ra Waterfall, but as the rain was kicking off, we decided to head to Nice Point. <music> en route, we saw one of the most vibrant rainbows we'd ever seen in our lives. Popping right off, kid. All right, fella. What do you want now? You getting out, because I'm not. Bloody freezing. <laughs> it is whipping a storm up there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Nah, bro, I'll have no air left if I go out there. <laughs> Come on, Nan, you're going to love it. was some serious wind so we've decided to come back to the comfort of custard uh, whip up some food and have a little cinema night Amy found uh, multiple charity shops and she found this little bargain as well as my hat a cola matata what a wonderful phrase go up will you <laughs> Isn't it, do you not think it's cool it was a quid it was a pound Craig loves it it smells like it was a pound, but that's fine. We'll find a laundrette soon. Welcome back to Holmesy's Kitchen. Today, we've got an absolute masterpiece. So it's a bagel burger on a bed of lettuce, mayonnaise, a burger with a wedge of Proschiano cheese, pan-fried shallots with ginger, <laughs> soy, up. and 
coconut sugar with avocado and topped off with some red slaw. Did you just find whatever you could in the cupboard and stick it in or is this a recipe? It's all came from the top of my head so give it a go see what you think. Okay maybe, maybe later. You are. I'm joking. All vegan of course. Go on get in there get a good bite. Oh wow babe. It's like a Thai burger. Thai? Mm. You get the ginger and that's lovely. So we're for more of a reaction. Can I have a drink, please? No, Shh. shop's closed. Oh, you know what, Craig? I would pay good money for that in any restaurant. Michelin star like Jamie Oliver would be really proud of you for doing that. I loved it. Too I, late for a I loved it now, so though. much. Bam, Honestly, bam so um, bam. so um, if you'll stop giving me the silent treatment because I didn't say your burger was that nice, that would be great. You're banned. Get out. <laughs> if you want my TripAdvisor review, it's a 10 out of 10. It was delicious. Your head's not going to fit in that hat I just bought for you. It's not about ego, it's about taste and I delivered the flavour, so... <laughs> Alright, where'd you get your attitude from? Is it because you started drinking whiskey? We'll Honest, talk about it. Honestly odd. I want to talk about it. Guys. This man has drank whiskey every night for the last like two weeks. What's, no, it's not happened? been that long. What? What's happened? Well, I never used to like it, but I trained my taste buds and now they're like, ooh, this is good. He puts it in his coffee. I'm not even joking. <laughs> He's an alcoholic. I did it once. I am a newbie. I'm only just onto it, but let me know in the comments what your favorite whiskey is. Preferably Scottish, so I can buy some. Oh, morning fella. <laughs> morning. Oh, Henrietta hasn't even had a, a chance to be in this Scotland season, but she's had a wash, so she'll be on soon. How are you feeling? I'm knackered, mate. Oh, it was rough last, last night. night. It was like, I felt like I was at sea. I felt like I joined the Navy and I was on a pirate ship yeah. all night. It was just like, boom, boom, boom. Wayne, Wayne? <laughs> the Wayne was Wayne so was bad. Wayne was knocking the door. I was like, Wayne, we're busy. <laughs> So I think we'll have a nap today, we'll book that in. <laughs> um, but it's not raining, but it is obviously... We should get out there whilst it's not raining. Yeah, we'll go and see it this morning. It is like 12, we slept in a little bit. <laughs> oh my God, he's in all... I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's it, strip, strip down to your little pants, take everything <laughs> off and make you a little hot chocolate. I need a hot chocolate, I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't realise how jealous I am that they've got a little poochie pie. They just give him a little towel dry. Oh, I just love him. Quick, come on, get one. I said let's get a dog. But it's just unfair because like, when we're eventually allowed to travel again, we're probably going to be off and about, aren't we? We can't take a dog. To Afghanistan. Maybe if we go there, yeah. Yeah, I get it, I know. If anyone's got a dog and they want us to look after it for like two months yes. around the UK, then give us a shout. Yes, Craig. Yeah, I was just saying it would be amazing to come for summer, but then we wouldn't have had it to ourselves, you know? There would have been a lot more tourists here, so... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for the colours, though. The scenes, The scenes. Yeah. It's just all, like, pastel blues and greens. Just 
wicked. Proper wicked. raw coastline, with, especially with the wind and the sea, just looks mm. so dramatic and like, yeah. Wicked. Yeah, it was class. Lovely. Definitely worth coming up here to see this. I wasn't sure when Amy said we we're going to see a lighthouse. I was like, oh, I've seen one, seen them all. But yeah. The the backdrop and the the mountains around it are just insane. So. And this is the most famous lighthouse in Scotland. So if you're going to go to any, come to this one. Boys are back in town. If anyone's seen that on Amazon Prime, incredible seaweed. Oh, Give the it boys. A go. That's what you said. This kid never never listens, does she? I'm just I'm trying to. Oh, always looking on the blog post. Where to go? Let's have a oh, real adventure. Don't worry about the people telling you where to go. Rule your own world, innit? Yeah, but we'll I'll get take you there. There he is. What? Oh, the dog. We're going to finish this week with another wild swim because we're nuts like that. We finished the week the way we started it, Craig. Yeah, that's true. Well, if I'd have known, I'd have to <laughs> Oh, it looks black and cold. It's a Guinness, doesn't it? Yeah. I won't lie, Craig, I'm not sure if I'm ready for this one. <laughs> it is quite scary, isn't it? Well, but this that's... is... Yeah. But this water's come from the mountain tops, which have snow on them, so we know it's going to be the coldest. There's no snow around here yet. At the top there is. I think that's what's so good about this world swimming is you get the rush before and when you get in and then afterwards you come out and once the sort of adrenaline calms down you feel like this warmth come over you and you're buzzing. So uh, hopefully it's not too cold though. <laughs> this is November in Scotland after all. Get that wedge you love. Oh, it's quite big. Yeah, that's pretty freezing. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. The funniest part about all this is we've actually got two wetsuits in the van. We just always choose to do it in bathers. <laughs> Tired, you love. I'm, I'm shattered, Craig. Like, what a week has been. It's been a I'm mad week. Bloody knackered. <laughs> We've been battered by the elements. We've tested our comfort zones to the max. Can't believe you jumped in that waterfall, babe. So proud of you. Why? Because it was. A, I know, but it was freezing. Yeah, it was freezing. Smashed it, babes. It's good fun, though, isn't it? Like, you just yeah. get a little bit of warmth after, and you're like, oh, yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good buzz. So that is it for the Isle of Skye. Next week we'll be getting on this boat. And heading for Lewis and Harris. So if you see us on the road and you want to have a fight, give us a beep. <laughs> but until then, we'll see you next week. One, two, three, bye! <laughs> Flight time is around four hours today, so any diesel contributions would be greatly appreciated. We're going to pass a cat around the habin. <laughs> You're gonna pass a cat around the habit. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I thought I nailed that then as well. You literally did it so cool. Like, <laughs> we're gonna pass a cat around the habit. We're gonna pass a, a cat around the habit. <laughs> <laughs> you smoked it, didn't you? Yeah. Vario 814. <laughs>
<laughs> That's so close, my dear. How do you say? Eight one four, New York. Oh.